I'm not thinking about vlogging today. Bro, every day is a vlog day, fam. Ah, uh, you know what? You know why? Because I've been vlogging radio so much, I didn't want to keep doing it. Yeah, I hear that still. Going to get too repetitive. What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a little um, radio interview with my G. Hey. What kind of intro is this on there? <laughs> I got Lazura Strudz though. Jeez. Buff gang and that buff gang. <laughs> Represent radio. Texting your like, I don't know, I don't know. I just think everyone's different, innit? Yeah, everyone is different. Yeah, yeah, everyone's different. But never rule it out like it's never gonna happen. Why would I if I'm friends? Alright, listen, hey, we're going up, go up. Yeah. You're listening to Represent Radio 107.3 FM, and I'm joined by August 12th. How are you, man? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me today. Of course, bro. You know, just getting into a heated discussion off there. <laughs> you know, we can't really talk what it's about, but it's uh, very, uh, the emotions are running high right now. You know what I'm saying? What have you been up to, man? Um, music, everyday music. Every day. Every day music. Whether yeah. it's like the artistry, songwriting, the production. Your room is basically a studio. Basically. So like uh, you've got like how much instruments around your room? Um, I've got three guitars, a few pianos. I said a few, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right, so your room, you're you're just you live in the studio basically. Basically, I I live, eat, breathe, sleep, music. When you're passionate about something, that's just how it goes, really. Yeah, it should be like that. And you ever no? It's like you got bare like colours in there. It's got like mood cut. Like, like, oh yeah, all the mood lighting. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> Girls, you know if you go around. No, joking. <laughs> no, but you could just drop the EP. Yeah, Black Lamore. I'm so, wearing it as well. I didn't know what how to pronounce it. Black Lamore. I bet like Black Lamore. So it's Black Lamore. The, the black is spelled differently. It's B L A Q U E. It's French. Yeah. What does it mean? Black love. Of course, I'm more. Uh, duh. Yeah, bro. Come black on. Black love. Yes. Black love is important, man. So I thought I want that as my EP name. I heard that. Uh, oh, you rated them last year, yeah? Yeah, no, uh, that is so good though. Uh -huh, uh -huh, That's cool. really meaningful. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Where's the concept behind the EP? There wasn't really much of a concept to it. I just thought, well, I had this EP from um, last year. Last year I mm -hmm. finished it. It was meant to be out in November last year, but I just held it back. So I just made six songs within like three months, and I thought, yeah, let me just put it out now. Like now's better time than ever. And you wrote, produced, engineered, basically did everything. Yep. On this and there's EP. a few co-productions as well. And sang, of course. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's actually so mad. So I think we're, I think we're gonna get into the first track of the EP. Do you wanna introduce it? Ah, uh, this is my song, No Limits. Please, represent radio. Please enjoy it because I, uh, cleaning this was a mission. I can't <laughs> lie. Bro, you should have just asked me for the radio. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> no limit, it's about August 12th, let's go. It's like cleaning this. You should have asked me for the radio edit. I didn't know if you had it or not. Yeah, I had it. Bro, I've got all the files, I just make versions. Let's say it. <laughs> Do you this. know what's funny? I even brought it on the USB today. Cause I thought, you sent me the EP in it, so I just thought I was taking it. Uh, you know the chorus got N words for Yeah, 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 yeah. So now it just sounds like, no, 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 no limits. Yeah, you did. 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 Yeah, you Yeah, you <laughs> My goodness, August. Bro, that is just so funny to listen as a radio edit. Bro, that is funny. Why, 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 is it, why so much filth? Basically, it was one of those like hype songs. Like, basically, I just wrote the song because the first time I went to LA, I came back and that was a really successful LA trip for me. Mm. And a few people were telling me, oh, you're getting a bit too big headed. Like, calm down a little bit, August. But, like, bro, I'm happy with my achievements. I want to share my achievements with the world. Like, what's wrong with me saying, oh, I've done this? Like, yeah. And then people are just telling me I need to chill. So I'm, I'm like, ah, oh, do you know what? I'm going to make a song about you lot. <laughs> Fair enough. Simple, I always tell my friends who are artists, like, whenever they tell me, oh, I'm going through this, I said, did you write about it? They say, no, I said, go and write about it. Don't trust me, me, trust me. Don't tell me. Trust me. But yes, <laughs> speaking of LA, you're in LA quite a bit. Yeah, I went out there um, September this year. 
What do you do when you're out there? Just do a lot of songwriting, um, mm -hmm. vocal production as well. Like I'll get in the session with a lot of singers. I'm gonna ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself a ghostwriter? No. Or would you consider yourself as just a songwriter? See with ghostwriting, ghostwriting is you write the song and you don't get credited. Mm -hmm. Like you're basically not allowed to say, oh yeah, I wrote this. Mm -hmm. But as a songwriter, you can walk around and say, oh yeah, I was a part of this project. I was yeah. a part of this song. So yeah, I'm, I'm a songwriter. Who, who, who have you written for? Because you've written for some, um, uh, some, some, some names. I've worked with mm -hmm. uh, Diana. That's mm -hmm. one of the artists I'm working with at the moment. She's very talented. Mm -hmm. She's hella wavy. Um, she's worked... the girl from YouTube that does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Um, she did the X song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nearly on a million. So I'm proud of that. Chris <laughs> Brown. <coughs> Huh? Have you written for Chris Brown? I wrote a song for him, but I kept that for myself in the end. Why? a and R's just kept telling me, oh, this is a banging song. Why don't you release it yourself? Yeah, You're trying that. to be an artist, aren't you? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know. I heard that. And that exact song is Rock Your Body, which is off the EP. Yeah, I knew that. I yeah. can tell. That just sounds like a breezy <laughs> song. That you can tell. So, um, UK R&B. Mm-hmm. What's your opinion on it right now? I love the way it's moving at the moment. You know, like UK rap and grime is just just getting its recognition now with like all these awards people are getting. Mm. But I think it's time that the UK R and B starts to come through now. Mm -hmm. I think there's a major gap in the black. There really is. You like UK urban market. There really is. Someone could just need to just snatch it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we got Angel out here, but yeah. like, look, SEM's gone. Lamar's gone. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no, there's like no one really taking over that. There's no one to lead it, basically. So why don't you do it? I'm about to, bro. Hey, gang. <laughs> so, the, well, who are you feeling in, in the UK R&B scene? Um, my boy J Soul. J Soul's called. J Soul's so. dope. Um, I listen to myself a lot. I listen to <laughs> me hard. I listen to me hard. Yeah. Yeah. Artists say that a lot, you know, like they don't listen to other people's music. Mm. They listen to themselves, which I always found was weird. But then I understand that like, you don't really want to listen to other people and then Someone not get inspired like, oh, by like I you sold this, you with yeah, this, and yeah, you yeah. jacked this from me. Nah, yeah. bro. Like, that's dead. But Black Love is sorry, not Black Love. Black Lamore. Yeah. Black Lamore. <laughs> no, like Black Lamore. Black Lamore is out now. Yep. Make sure you go. Where is it? Stream it everywhere. You can stream it everywhere. You can download it. Um, Apple Music, iTunes. It's on every digital store. We get videos. I've got videos coming. At what in England? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Beginning of the year. Say, so, hey, say that's the next year. The proper push. Trust me. Say no more. But before you go, we're gonna leave off with one more song. Probably one of my favorites of the. EP. Oh yes, snap! Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, let's get into it. My side by August 12th. Let's go. I like my side. Yeah. Is this Dana in the background? Nah, that's someone else. Everyone seems to love this song. This song's wavy blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this song's cold. That was co written <coughs> with my uh, singing teacher. So. Yeah. Co written with my singing teacher. Oh, okay. Shay Jacobs. Girl, it's about the He's wavy. You can be alone. Can't be alone tonight. Girl, she had an argument with a man. Texting man, I can't be alone tonight. Trust me. Pull up. You know, she's cooked for you. And I'm basically telling the girl, leave the man. Come be with me. I'm not going to give you distress. This song is so perfect. We didn't even plan the argument, but it's so perfect. Why you guys your friends say you look better with me. Don't be with that guy. He's driving you insane. He's driving you insane. Come over to my side. See, you don't understand, man. If your heart is true. And I said, text your friends with the see what Trust me. They will all they will all want to press. Give that when you're free. I don't know. Huh? Oh, the tune is changing now. I'm just saying different people have different experiences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a while ago, you were saying no one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying he's got different. Oh, okay, okay. No, but theoretically, you can say to any girl, like, go to a guy and they'll have it. Like, but really. That is a gross stereotype. And as a meninist, I will not accept it. And you know a what? Meninist. That's a bad stereotype that you think that I can't have male friends. I'm not time. saying you can't. That's from my experiences. No, I'm not saying you can't. You can. But I'm telling you, most of your male friends have hidden agendas. You don't know my male friends better than me. I don't think they have I'm hidden agendas. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I don't think they have hidden agendas. I just say, if you put it on them, they will take it. They Ninety. Seven percent of men would would not say no. no. But I think out of respect. See, would... that's like your bars, you know. That's like you like pressure. No, not even that. It's just like, like some, most 
Seventy five percent of my friends, I've been friends with them. We grew up together. We played on the street together. We're like brother and sister. That means you're even closer. They know my mom. That means there's even like, more emotions. George, George, George the Flash. George Flash. Yeah. Yeah. Barry and Iris, Iris they grew up, grew up together. together. Same and house. Now they're Same school. They got married. You think that doesn't happen in real life? It, not to me. That wouldn't happen to me though. Nah, you think. That's what you think. <laughs> I just can't imagine it. It's really weird for that to happen. One second. Um, I just, I don't know. <laughs> this is August 12th of my side. I think it's the fourth track of his EP, A Black Lamar. Available everywhere to stream, but he ain't going anywhere. We're gonna play a game in about 10 minutes. Right, so about 10 minutes, we're gonna play a game. And the game is hilarious. Yeah. Is it one of the games he's played already with people? No. Okay. I made it customly for you. He always makes a new game this guy. I don't underestimate it. That's what everyone does, though. I'm not knowing special. Oh my god, so you, you write with like. Oh my god, it's so fun. It's the back bro. Huh? It's the back man. <laughs> bro. It's fake. Why, of it's course, cool. it's fake, but it's. Why? Yeah, she's so nah, she's cool. Well, I don't know her like that. I only knew her for one session. That's still like crazy good though. Who's out here, you know? Who's got songs of probably the biggest artists in the country? But like, you want to drop it out of pride? Yeah. Be proud of your ish, man. No, he got too much pride. That's his problem. Yeah, he got really song with one of the is. biggest female artists in the country right now. I've ghostwritten before for like raps and stuff. Like my boys rap and I ghostwrite for them. But that's because I'll never say which song I wrote. Okay. So yeah, songwriting, I could either write the whole song or I could co-write it. Okay. But I can still say, oh yeah, I was a part of this record. So ghostwriting is anonymous, basically. Yeah, basically. Like, everyone thinks it's the artist. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So would you ever move to LA then? I planned to like when I first went two years ago. But now that I've been there enough times, I really don't think I would. Okay. Why? LA is Girls there, bro. The girls there are crazy. What are you talking about? What, what, they are mad. Fam, every single girl that I've known out there, yeah. As soon as like I come back to London, they all think, oh, when you coming back out here? I want a baby. Okay, that's new. <laughs> they are very poor, though. Yeah, yeah, LA girls are mad poor. I can't handle that. It's not a good thing for guys. For Why guys, are you judging us? For girls, Why too? do you think that because we're guys, we want to have sex easy? You have so much stereotypes about men that I don't like seeing the art. It's not like a problem. As a man, I'm offended. And it's game time, so... Oh, dear. Just to add some music for an effect. <laughs> Come on. So this game is called... Marry me. Oh no, what? Now that's the title <laughs> game for us house. So that's a title of one of the songs on your EP. Yeah, track five. And um yeah. So what I've done, Mr. Twelve, I've got four lovely ladies for you who've written some wedding vows. Okay. Now you just have to pick the best one. That's all you have to do. Not hard, is it? Nah, seems easy. Exactly. It seems some, easy. Some of, some of these girls went in, I can't lie. I'm gonna play the first one. Yeah, yeah. You should write down on your phone the ratings out of ten. So this is the First one. My he said to me, do I remember the time we were in the love? And of course I do. But it took a long time to get there. After designer told me about your boards in Atlanta, we fell out for a while because I didn't trust you. But my good friend Ruby said that we all have hard times and we have to work through them in order to make it work. So after a while I gave in. And I said that we can reunite but just as friends. <laughs> but Justin Bieber told me that you said that I'm that I'm the one, but you just weren't showing it. After going back, back, forth and forth, you started to change and put me first. And Whitney told me that you said you'd always love me. And you know what? There just ain't no mountain high enough. And that's why I'm standing at the altar, at the top of <coughs> Mount Kilimanjaro, just to tell you that I do take you as my lawfully wedded husband. Are you ready to see you? Wow, she she went in, boy. She she got some feelings. What do you think about that one, August? I don't have broads in Atlanta. So. <laughs> Suitor number two. Since girl from London, I heard it and I knew it would be me. I promise to always dye your beard on demand, to play your music at the loudest volume, and to be front row at your shows. I promise that every Thursday afternoon, after tuning into Relic, I'll be in room 512, ready to rock your body until you marry me. Stay by my side with no restrictions and no limits. It's us, it's love, c'est la vie. 
<laughs> well, for the look of your face, it looks like <laughs> you like that one, August. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one sounded, boy. I don't know if you are, but she sounds like she really loves you, boy. I remember when we first met at a shoot in LA. I remember your chocolate skin glistening in the sun. But most of the chicken you had stuck in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> You never felt like you are. I love you, August. She remembers that bit of chicken stuck in your teeth, August. Boy. Bro, that's how you know the game's on fleek. Right? The game's on fleek. <laughs> Trust Still me, bro. You from there. August, from the day I met you, I knew you were destined to be something amazing. Cheers! Oh, the <laughs> made you thinking of me, and I'm truly blessed to be a part of your journey. Mm. I love your ambition and promise to only aid and support you down your path. I promise to be your biggest fan, but also your most honest adversary. I'll forever be faithful. Yours truly. Hey. 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 Uh, for the fam. ratings in your phone. Mm. Now, I don't know which one I would pick, but they all sound lit. So I'm not going to say the names, but you have girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, and girl number four. Mr. 12, in the game of Marry Me, which lady are you picking? It's a decision between two. Mm. Either the second or the fourth, but the second, yeah, sounds like a ride or die. Mm. So I'm gonna have to go with number two. Yeah, number two. A round of applause for number two, please. You'll be getting absolutely nothing. <laughs> me. You know, uh, you know, he picked you, but it doesn't really mean much. This is a game. Black Love was out now. You know, Black Love. She's black. You know, Black Love. Yeah, Black Love. Black you know? Love. She out went now. in though. I can't lie. She went in. Yeah, she did. That's what made her win. That was funny. Boy, that second one. When I heard that, I was like, yo! <laughs> she, she went in, so. She went in for me. Represent radio. She! I'm thinking that I might start selling them. I don't know, like, I might make a few more and then sell them. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you buy one? Would you buy one? Yeah, nah. No What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another vlog. I uh, couldn't get my words out. Back at it again with another. Everyone's just looking at me weird in the streets. But yeah, what am I doing today? What am I doing today? What am I doing today? As you already know, I, pff, I go to a lot of events. So I'm going to a little um, event link up thing that I got invited to by my boy. Uh, what's it called? R&B Brit? No, r and Brit. But yeah, come meet some people. Man like Jay Soul. Yo, Jeez. what's happening? Hey, it's good to hey. be back. But, hey, the lighting ain't as good as last time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think it's the street still. Okay. Do you tell them where we're going? Yeah, R and Brit. R and Brit. R and Brit. R and Brit. UK R and B link up. Trust me, man. I know the thing though. This is Joshua, uh, Joshua King. Kings. Just met him today. Wavy R and B singer. Thanks, man. And you. <laughs> Thank you, Badgie. <laughs> I'm still drinking last night. Are you on wave? Yeah, a little bit. Now nah, I'm joking. That's not professional of me. So what are you drinking now? Oh, this is um rum and um, ginger beer. Nah, his line is apple juice. Yeah. Apple juice. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, Robin, wanna get in a vlog? Got this beautiful Robin page. Hey. Got any new music out? Yes, yeah, so I just released my EP Genesis. Make sure you go check it out. Um, Spotify. So that's the little um, R&B link up finish. Y'all coming down to Red Rooster? Oh yeah, we go on Red Rooster. By the time we actually like get there, we need to find another parking space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now, it I'm don't just make concerned sense. about actually finding the car again. So Mr. J Soul, what did you think of the link up? Hey, link up was sick, bro. It was fire, innit? It was wavy. I'm glad we doing. Well, I'm glad you came, August, man. I'm glad you invited me, bro. I'm glad you came, man. It was a good day. We're Listen, some food us R&B singers need to stick together. We are the future of the UK R&B. Get me? Future. The future right now. Future. <laughs> Just the future. <laughs>